Hello and welcome to another edition of the Appetizer. This is Will, and here joining me again is Austin. Hey, Will, what are we uh, looking at today? We're looking at Ratchet and Clank, which is uh, in a, one of the. It's a remake of the old school platformer that recently that released in the PS2 back in 2001. But uh, Insomniac has decided to uh, release this in tandem with their movie uh releasing later this month and we we're seeing like basically a giant overhaul of like the original game so uh just from like the graphical fidelity and all the parts it's still very it's still very true to the original but you can see uh they've done a modern imagining of uh, the series yeah it, it looks really good um now I know they released a uh, like a remaster of those uh, PS2 versions not not too long ago. How does this this one differ? Uh, this is so this is uh, basically an entirely new game from uh, just how they built it. Uh, everything, all the levels are kind of the same in terms of the layout, but uh, they've shortened some parts and added some new sequences. So uh, basically, go into this like as your first ratchet game and it's it's quite breathtaking <laughs> is that is that what you recommend uh, do, you, do you think that this this offers just a, a modern take on uh, the classic ratchet formula uh, while keeping true to the story or? I think so yeah so they add a lot of modern elements like strafing and uh, uh, the platform just in the, the lock on and everything is just a lot more smoother uh, before in the previous games, you were constantly looking for bolts to like buy all your weapons, but now they've kind of gave more leeway in how many uh, of those you can collect to like buy new weapons. So it's not that high of a difficulty curve, but uh, it still provides a challenge if you're playing on the harder difficulties. Uh, I'm playing on casual because I know how hard the Ratchet and Clank series can get. <laughs> Um, so, uh, there, you, you mentioned that this is a kind of a tie-in to the movie, um, is there, does, does it follow the same story as the movie, do you, do you know uh, if, that, if that's the case with this? So, the, the tagline for this game is, this is the game that is based on the movie, which is based on the game, so, uh, this has more in line with the movie, because um, they're actually using some of the assets from uh, that in the uh, some of the cutscenes themselves, so, so you can see kind of like the CGI, uh, more uh, Pixar-like animation here. Uh, but for uh, just in terms of the story, uh, this is a retelling based from Captain Quark's perspective. So that uh, having someone else tell the story allows him to kind of change things up with the the original. Cool. That's, that sounds interesting. It looks great. Uh, this is. Like, you don't see a lot of these kind of bright, brightly colored, uh, beautifully cartoonish worlds uh, on this generation of consoles. And did, did it hold up? Did, did you run into any, like, technical problems in, in your playthrough so far? No, this is actually the smoothest I've seen from a Ratchet and Clank game. I've never played the PS3 ones. I kind of topped off that train after the PS2, so coming back to this... Uh, on the PS4, it's, it's been kind of amazing to see like that uh, progression of this this franchise. Yeah, I mean, just the like, animation and the, the detail here is, is awesome. Yeah, they've gone into a very Pixar DreamWorks-like uh, thing with their PS3 games, and uh, just from seeing like the videos and now just playing it, I can tell why uh, they put a lot of effort into making this. Uh, feel like a movie, but play like you know a video game as well. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't played the Ratchet and Clank games, but I remember them kind of being known for the weird weapons at a certain point. Uh, how does how does this one bring that? Uh, do they have a, 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 like only weapons from the first game, or they they do a lot of stuff from newer games, or what? Uh, so it's a mix of that. So they all like most of the original uh, weapons are in there, like the Rhino and the. Uh, but then they added some new ones, like the Grubertron. I don't remember being in the PS2 uh, series, so uh, so it's just kind of bringing in uh, a lot of different weapons from different eras of Ratchet 
into this. So, I mean, of course, you have the signature wrench and stuff. Uh, and Clank has uh, uh, kind of a support role in like having the helicopter or gliding uh, 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 feature there. But the weapons themselves, uh, uh, it takes from all different parts of Ratchet. The NAT computer cool. indicates that um, there is an important gadget you, you must retrieve do, in a Do you have a, any idea if there's any kind of other, like, modes or features that they added, or is it just, uh, just a single-player experience? I remember some of the Ratchet games went to, like, a weird four-player, like, I think it was, what, all four Yeah, I think, or? uh, so that was, like, they had a, they had a four-player, multiplayer game, and then they had, uh, like, a tower defense thing. This yeah. is more in line with the, uh... The original series and the the storyline Ratchet games where it's very single player, um, but there's a lot of elements that the, they added to this one, which is, you can ask, you can upgrade your weapons, and there's like a whole like tech tree st system where you can uh, use your uh, rare titanium points uh, to upgrade them to like have your weapons fire faster, use less ammo. Uh, that sort of thing. So here I'm at the, gra the Gadgetron vendor uh, trying to get some more bolts before I go back into it, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's it's where you can purchase like uh, all the new weapons that are available. Um, starting off I have a couple weapons I can show off uh, later in this uh, demo, but um, what is this uh, cutscene? Yeah, it looks it looks like they. I I, I had watched some some videos of the uh, of the first game, and just in comparison, there's a lot more going on in the moment to moment, just as far as like particle effects and nuts and bolts flying around, and it, it just looks a lot more detailed. And it really really looks like a huge step up visually. Yeah, in terms of the visuals and just uh, just just the upgrade from the PS3 games even, yeah. uh, they, they try to make that, uh, this feel like, you know, this a modern uh, take on the Ratchet series. So, uh, here I'm gonna attack some sand sharks, and they pop out of the ground, uh, so I kind of cornered them here with a grenade. Uh, that was, uh, you can also upgrade that grenade uh, to have uh, more more ammo, but uh, here's a proton from Axe, so it kind of acts as an area of attack uh, a thing. Uh, you can have it, you can upgrade it to have a longer or uh, lasting time, but it's it's a very good for uh, groups of enemies. Um, have a drone thing following you? What's I have a guy? drone thing that, that can that act as a su support guy to oh. kind of deal a secondary attack, and kind of using that with the proton drum here. Uh, you can basically not do anything and let the, <laughs> the, yeah, uh, it and forget it. the weapons take the warp for you. But yeah, I can switch over to like kind of the, the standard blaster uh, as well. But uh, just just in terms of like how many enemies and things are going on in screen, I'm very very happy that the frame rate held out. And how all is that. how is the shooting? Um... Is it difficult to aim? It doesn't look like all the weapons have a, a standard crosshair. Is that, does that become an issue at all? Or? No, no, there's a, there's a lock-on feature you can just tap on with the R3 or the uh, left trigger. And it, it'll, you, can, uh, you can bring up the, the aiming pretty quickly and switch, uh, switch weapons on the fly and kind of play around with it. Uh, and also, yeah, yeah, you can get into a lock-on feature here. Which lets you also like strafe and uh, jump around when uh, enemies are shooting projectiles at you. So it was, it's very, uh, it's very fluid and flexible here. There are a few sand sharks left. Now, how how strictly does it hold to the kind of moment to moment from the first game? Like, are there the same number of levels and and same boss fights or? Um, uh, just so far, changes? I've I played a couple of the opening levels. Um, I'm gonna run into some trouble here, <laughs> but I played some of the open levels, and they've uh, pretty much kept the plants one to one. Except, for, I think what I heard that later on is that they've combined some of the planets into one. 
to kind of speed it up. I think there was like 14 planets or 18 planets back in the original game. And they kind of shortened that down, combined some of the planets. Well, did this, did this, uh, this get you excited for the movie? It did. Uh, just seeing like how they tied in some of the movie assets with the game. And it's sort of a reintroduction for a lot of people who played the series, but now are like adults. Yeah, so that's very uh, nostalgic, nostalgic factor for me. And, and hopefully, yeah, it's hopefully not a, it a it's not a sixty dollar game, right? It launched at a at a lower price. Yes, it did. It launched at forty bucks, which is very wow. happy. Yeah, if, um, uh... <laughs> at the game uh, Best Buy Game Rewards thing, so it even knocked down the price even more. But uh, it's a forty dollar game, and it feels like it should be a sixty dollar game. Cool. <laughs> well, it looks great. Uh, I think this might get me to, you know, play a ratchet game. I, <laughs> yeah, I especially if you want to. If you want to get into the more of the older style, then I definitely recommend the uh, Ratchet and Clank collection. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if you want the kind of the modern take of it, the Ratchet and Clank PS4 is the way to go here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just amazing like how many things are going happening on screen and like the the graphics never take a the frame rate never takes a hit. That's great. Yeah, that's. Uh... That's crucial to making a game look good, I think. I think also, like, I see here the hollow cards. You can. There's a whole uh, card collection system in here. Uh, as you progress through levels and find, like, the little secrets, um, you can collect these cards. And I'm not sure exactly what they do, but uh, I think it's. <laughs> that's you can, new, like, new merge cards, and yeah, it's a very first stone like <laughs> experience here. Cool. Well, it looks great, Will. Uh, thanks for talking to me about it. Is there anything else you want to add? No, I think that's about it. I think uh, if, if you uh, like Ratchet and Clank, you like platformers, you like a $40 game as opposed to a $60 <laughs> game, this is the one to get. Great. <laughs> it sounds like I need to pick this up. Thanks, Will. Yeah, no problem. See you next time.